Hey guys, I'm in Seville, one of the best places in Spain to eat tapas, and I'm crossing the Guadalquivir River to go over to Triana, one of the proudest neighborhoods in this city. We're gonna go on a tapas crawl. We're gonna eat at several tapas restaurants. It's gonna be a true neighborhood, local tapas crawl across these amazing places. And I have a team behind me tonight. We've got Jamie, we've got Kyra, we've got Haley, and we've got Lauren. People from Devour Tours, and we're gonna be exploring it together. These guys live in Seville, so they're gonna be helping us out. Is it gonna be amazing? Of course. Lots of tapas, lots of Seville tapas, super local, in a neighborhood, Triana, where bullfighters and flamenco dancers are from. It's gonna be delicious, so let's go. So guys, we're here in a very typical Sevillano bar, uh, Bar Santa Ana. It's been open for over a hundred years. The walls are covered with fantastic, wonderful images of Semana Santa, of Easter week, which is such a big deal here in Seville, and of virgins. And all these paintings, all these uh, photos, are actually gifts that over the decades have been given to the owners of the bar. What a special place. We're gonna have a vermouth to drink, uh, and we're gonna kick off with more tapas. Yeah. Cheers, guys. I've almost finished my piece of cheese. It's a mixture of sheep, uh, cow, and goat's milk. Mm, creamy, beautifully cured, delicious. One of the great things about going out for tapas in Seville is that you can actually order tapa sizes. So menus come uh, with kind of three columns, a tapa column, a media ration column, and a ration column. And each one is uh, larger than the one before. So you have a lot of flexibility for ordering for one or two people, and you can really try a whole bunch of dishes. So Haley, tell us what we're drinking here. Absolutely, we're having some vermouth casera, or homemade vermouth. Homemade um, vermouth. Which is a fortified, aromatized wine. It's ham time. It's always ham time, early in the night. Mm. No matter how long you live in this country, you will never get tired of ham, which suggests that you're, you're coming for just a, a few days or a few weeks or whatever it is, um, you just have to go nuts. Pairing it with homemade vermouth uh, that they make and have specially here in this bar. Delicious. The bells are ringing behind me as we line up beside our next tapas bar, uh, Cerveceria La Grande, famous for its shrimp. Let's go and check it out. So Cerveceria La Grande, like all great seafood or marisco bars, it has that smell of, of, of just fresh shrimp, of, of seafood, it's delicious. You have it with beer here, so we've got some shrimp coming. I love this place already. Yeah. Gotta remove the head, then you start picking at the legs so that you can go around and take the body off. I'm doing a really great job of it. <laughs> shrimp going in. Mm. I love that you peel them and drop them in your mouth. It tastes so fresh. And if you're someone who doesn't like that, seeing the head on your shrimp or wants your shrimp deveined, well, you're in the wrong country. Sorry. This is where it gets real uh, and it's amazing. Sometimes I even don't even totally peel them, I just drop them in. It's all roughage. <laughs> okay, we've started light and now we're heading to our next stop, which is one of the most famous tapas bars in Triana. It's a must stop in Triana. This place has been open since the 1960s and they have one particular tapa, one dish that is so famous that you don't even have to order it by name. You just say, dame una, give me one of those, give me one of them, and they will serve you this tapa. And that's what we're going to try. Okay, I'm in love. Right here we have some of the wow, finest Jamie. pork loin in the world on bread and on a bed of potato chips. I mean, stop. And also we have over here, because you get your vegetables in Spain as well, radish with extra virgin olive oil and beautiful sea salt over the top. Man, I love this combination. Okay, and one more dish just arrived. Uh, mushrooms with garlic and parsley alioli. Here we go. Thank you, Haley. A little hard to pick up. All right, going in. Wow. Perfectly grilled mushrooms, really parsley and garlic flavored uh, alioli on top. What a beautiful tapa. Okay, we've gotten excited. We love this place so much. We've ordered another famous tapa, which are the carrots, which are done in cumin, correct? They're slightly boiled with cumin. Oh my God, I love these, uh, this tapa. So it's coming now. Okay, so it may seem like a strange thing, but these carrots uh, down there, which are pickled carrots, with cumin, garlic, and vinegar are one of the most incredible things you will eat in your life. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going for more. 
Delicious, delicious. Come to Las Golondrinas and try these tapas. They are amazing. No, Can't stop eating. Know. Last radish going in there. Watch out for the oil, mancho. Wow. It's like drinking olive oil while eating this large, crunchy, bitter thing and then a little bit of salt on the top. And it's built with a handle. It's amazing. My favorite tapa in the world right now. So, a number of bars in, the wine, the beer, the vermouth is starting to have an effect. We've had some delicious tapas so far. Now we have a reservation. Haley, we have a reservation, I believe. We have a reservation, we have a reservation at a place we're going to sit down uh, and we're going to eat more tapas. So stick with us. So we're here in this spectacular bar, Casa Cuesta, opened in 1880 as a wine shop uh, and is just beautiful inside. These high ceilings, the tiles, the, the, the bar, the wood, the marble top. And on the walls, there are posters from the early 20th century Easter week. It's just spectacular. Uh, and we've got some delicious tapas coming. So hang out. Dos tapitas de carriadas. Okay, tortilla española, uh, Spanish omelette, uh, one of the most famous tapas and here in Casa Cuesta served in a whiskey sauce, a sauce that is so traditional here in Seville. Uh, it's reduced whiskey, olive oil and garlic. Wow. When you live in Spain, you fall in love with tortilla. It becomes a personal obsession. And when you douse anything in whiskey sauce, it's love at first bite. Okay, next tapa, carriera or carriada, which is pork cheek. Here, slowly stewed till it's just falling apart. With a Pedro Jimenez uh, sherry, sweet sherry sauce, but it's not sweet. And it is one of those dishes that takes me right back to my grandmother's cooking. It is just beautiful, slow cooked meat in such a rich sauce served on a bed of gorgeous uh, hand cut fries. Mm. It is amazing, full of flavor. Okay, I'm super full, but we have one more stop. We're going to Una Abaceria, which is a very typical part shop, part tapas bar here in Seville. The kind of places you need to discover. This place is very hidden, opened uh, about 40 years ago. It's run by the son of a chef. We're going to be drinking sherry, so let's check it out. <laughs> this is called Abaceria La Antigua, very hidden here in Triana. It's run by the gentleman who's working the bar behind me. You can't quite see him now, but he's busy. His name is Rafa. He is a, a well-known ham carver, renowned ham carver. There he goes. Uh, and this place is run by him. And it's places like this that just make me feel so lucky to live in Spain, to live in this country. These places are beautiful. They're full of atmosphere and tradition. And to sit here and drink this gorgeous wine and chat with my friends and, and be with him, I feel very, very lucky. Salud, cheers. Everybody, I'm here with Enrique, who is here from Triana, and he is like the proud Trianeros. He says, I'm not from Seville, I'm from Triana. Enrique, dinos, ¿de dónde eres? De Triana. De Triana, no de Sevilla, ¿no? No, no. And that is what we love about Triana Siena. Está cerca. Triana? Sevilla está cerca. Eso, Sevilla está cerca. Sevilla, Seville is close, pero estamos en Triana, and Enrique is from Triana. That's what we love about Triana, is that pride, that local pride. Pues muchas gracias, Enrique. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego, everybody. Thanks for watching. Chao. Bye, bye. Hasta luego. Ole. <laughs> Ole. Muy bien, muchas gracias.